we wanted to become financially free to allow us to do the things that we wanted to do uh, when we wanted to do them. You know, and it was really as simple as that at the start for us. We we had the dream, uh, like most people, that retire young, retire early. We can, um, I suppose, our parents' dream. I think they had a lot to do with this. You know, where you can retire to the beach and you know you you can live off your income and just go and do nothing. And uh, the reality is, we done that pretty quickly. We had we were able to do things. We quit our jobs. We we had a, a quite quick success in acquiring. Uh, but cash flowing properties that would allow us to go and do something uh, like that. But in actual fact, you know, it's funny when we think back now, but uh, we can actually think of nothing worse. <laughs> than, than, can uh, actually I actually remember the conversation driving home from Spain saying, Graham, I don't want to give up work. I think we're trying to live our parents' dream. I remember yeah, that conversation. Yeah. You know, I enjoy what I'm doing. Yeah. I enjoy the, the thrill, the buzz, the excitement. Uh -huh. Why would you want to sit and do, do nothing? It. <laughs> so it's so it's funny how it's evolved over the years. Not funny, but it has completely evolved because where you're thinking you're going to start your own business, you want to uh, have you know you, you, you work less, more holidays, uh, and all that. Uh, you know, put, we we can do what we want. The reality is that when you get to a certain point, it ha what's happened for us is. That we we just that absolutely sounds horrible to us because we work, you know, harder, harder longer. longer. We take less holidays. We are more committed. We have more pressure. We're we're it, it's the complete opposite. But we love that. That's what we love. So when we're on, we're never on holiday. We're always on it because when you have to be when you're growing your businesses and if you look at the rate from when we started with nothing to where we are now and where we're heading to, um, you can't get that without complete and utter commitment. But that we now chase that and love that, and uh, we don't think anything uh, now. And it's, it's weird when we hear uh, from, you know, our accountants that are away on holiday, we get an out of office, <laughs> and, uh, you know, they've got their phone on for two days, then all of a sudden their phone's off because you're trying to get a hold of them because you're working on a deal that you need their help with and they switch their phone off because they're an employee. That's alien to us. We would be getting that deal done uh, no matter what. So we're complete other end of the spectrum now from where we started out, never thinking we would get to this point, but absolutely loving it, I would say. Um, yeah? Yeah, uh, I mean, really enjoy it. It would feel alien not to be working no. hard and working on something no. and the responsibility we've got to complete things yeah. and on time and in full and yep. yeah. enjoy it. Work-life balance is an absolute myth. I don't know who devised it, who came up with it, but uh, it sounds great. I don't know anybody has got work-life balance. Anybody at all that has been super successful you, because by nature you have to be out of balance. So we are all in on one thing. But then if something comes up on the family side, guess what? We'll be all in on that as well. But at the time, it's not like we can work, you know, a set amount of hours each day or each week, and that's designed and we go to the gym and we did the day. You know, that's the idea. Sounds great. It, it, it sounds, sounds logical. Great, it, just, it doesn't happen. It is not real. It's we, a myth. We're in the pro problem-solving game as entrepreneurs. If a problem goes up, we'll solve it. So mm. if I was planning to go to the gym and a problem mm. arises, I drop the gym and I solve the problem. Mm. Mm. You know, so you, you change and adapt mm. for yeah. what's going on around you. And we go back, uh, you know, most people won't do that. That's the problem. They just won't do that because they, they do not want to pay the price to get what they really want. They're not prepared to pay the price and make the sacrifices which you have to do.